Frank, I wanted to ask you about along the same lines here about the story that happened in the NHL with uh, Slava Voinov and the fact that uh, a woman, we don't know whether it was his girlfriend, his wife, or we don't know, was basically assaulted. Now, the, the reality, Slava Kozlov was there at the hospital. Uh, he was charged, the NHL Voinov. has basically, Slava Voinov has basically uh, been suspended indefinitely by the NHL. He will be paid in full. Yeah. But this is the NHL reacting very swiftly, unlike the NFL, which dragged its heels. Frank, what are your thoughts on all this? Well, you know, it's really hard because you guys made some valid points, and, and I think it was Phil Esposito who said that, uh, you know, the guy should be playing, and I think Billy, too, uh, they should be playing until he's, you know, in, in law, in a, in, a, in, a, in a democratic country, you're innocent until proven guilty, right? So, like, I, unless, you know, the, the, there was blatant tapes where the, where the guy in the NFL punched and what, knocked his wife, uh, wife uh, that's or Ray, 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 Ray Rice. punches. I mean, that's, that's irrefutable. You, you can't change that. Yeah. But here, uh, from what I've read, is there, you know, he's been charged, but there's no real evidence. The NHL basically broke the story. They didn't wait for TMZ or anybody else. Well, they the, NHL, broke... the NHL is very smart. Yeah, they knew they had to get ahead of it, right? I yeah. think he, he could have taken back what he said when he compared himself to the NFL. He would, uh, and now he's backpedaling. But, uh, I, I, you know, I, Batman's very bright, and he didn't want the papers to jump all over it and do exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, saying your thoughts and, 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 you know, this and that and that and this. You know, there's been domestic, uh, uh, there's been a lot of people accused uh, allegations of domestic abuse in the NHL. Bill, Bill, let me just ask this to Bill, because Bill, when, the, when it came out, when Gary Bettman said what he said, you said, I think he'd regret, he regretted what he says, and if he could have a chance to take it back, he would. Yeah, because he's forgotten. He's got a short memory. One of this coach of the year uh, slammed a door down his wife's throat. Uh, the goalie that he traded for, Barlamov, uh, gave his wife a thrashing. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was another incident, at least three. Was it Patrick Kwa, uh, there was an allegation of Patrick Kwa while was charged with, um, or there was an allegation of domestic abuse? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so there's, there's <laughs> I mean, and that's back when he was in, uh, I think, as a player. That's how yeah. long ago it was. Yeah, but, but I'm saying to you, you know, Humanity is humanity, uh, tempers, passions, flares, uh, uh, come on. And now, uh, you know, the, the professional sports got to learn that uh, they are accountable like politicians are. Fucking politicians are under a microscope, you know? I, 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 you know, Gary, uh, Hart's career went straight down the toilet because of an indiscretion. And that wasn't uh, domestic abuse. And, no. you know, uh, but I'm just saying, but what I'm trying to tell you is, that when you get into the limelight and you, you become a, uh, a figurehead and you become, uh, especially uh, this professional sports where the kids are watching you, right? There's got to be some sort of uh, moral uh, code. I think that's what the, there is. There is uh, clauses in the contracts that, that have to do with your behavior, and I think that's what Gary Batman I mean, uh, essentially I mean, enforced. You know, if, uh, if, you have, uh, if you have somebody representing your... Uh, your company or your brand and they show their pee pee, that's not good. Well, the message, brand. The message being that's sent is uh, that it is 2014 and domestic abuse in any way, shape, or form is not something that uh, is going to be tolerated. Uh, of course, the Ray Rice incident, uh, the video and everything else, that exacerbated this situation and made the NHL take stock and say, you know what, this is a scandal that may yet bring down Roger Goodell. We want to be proactive in something like this, not reactive. I don't have a problem with him being suspended while this gets sorted out because he is getting paid. So if it comes out that, uh, that he's innocent of the these charges well he didn't lose a dime so I'm not really very worried about going on that very way perceptive, perceptive. I, I agree with you implicitly but because because if he if he's deemed innocent right mm -hmm. either way the NHL have to pay back the money you, you know what I'm saying Tim mm -hmm. so either way whether they paid him or they didn't pay him I, I think that Phil made a very big uh, point and so did uh, sort of Billy Waters when we we're talking about the NFL that the, you know sometimes uh, some of the players should continue playing and then when they're you know for me, for me personally, Michael Vick should have never been allowed to come back and play in, in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Even though he served time in jail. I don't give a fuck. He should have never been able, never, ever, ever, ever. Uh, it's, it's unforgivable what he did. 
and I, I, I'm, I, I believe there's more dogs. Some, but, but it's just you know, as a dog owner, as a pet lover, unbelievable, unbelievable. And, you know, that's, you know, I don't want to minimize it, but that's, you know, we're talking about dogs right now. Yeah, I think someone beating their wife is that much worse. So uh, I, I agree with you. I, I agree. But, but uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, when something like that, somebody's tried and convicted, uh, that they're done. Mm -hmm. They're done. And well, I think the only thing, Frank, that's going to save Boyne off and the only thing that saved uh, Varlam off and the only thing that saved Patrick Roy was the wife withdrew the charges, and they're yeah. going to do it again. Okay, but okay. So here's my point. My point is in the NFL uh, situation that that everything came, that everybody came under the microscope was that videotape, the NFL not asking for it, the casino saying that they offered it to them, yeah, the NFL could not have handled that situation any worse. I think that's why I Gary Bettman saw and that and decided to go completely the opposite consulted. direction. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm being facetious, but you know, that tape is damning. Mm -hmm. Everything else, like Patrick Roy and all of those things, right? There's, there's no real evidence. You know, the, the eyewitness is one person, and they, they, they did not. They did not continue. You know what I'm saying to you? So it is what it is.